Good afternoon, and welcome to the Church of Holy Apostles. As a community of disciples, we have been given the mission to build up the kingdom of God here on earth through word, deed, and prayer. Let us please stand now and introduce ourselves to one another. Let us now begin our celebration by raising our voices in song to the Lord. Please look to the screen and join us in singing, O Come All Ye Faithful. Let's continue our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Thanks. Welcome. We're glad that you're here from everywhere and far. I'm Father Paul, the pastor. This is Father Reuben, the holy priest. And um, he was very excited that he was going to be here today, so he's been working hard and trying to straighten me out. So as we come together, let's just take a minute to realize that we're human and we make mistakes, and we're going to bring our sinfulness to God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, your virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
O God, who gladden us year by year as we wait and hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burned in them, the pulp for the pull on their shoulder, the, and the rod out of their taskmaster. You have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for clay. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and, and to live temperately and justly and devoutly in this age, as we await the, the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God the, and Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawless, lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, Judea, to the city of David that's called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid. For behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed 
by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. We could bring down, if we could bring down the lights, please. Thank you. Stumbling in darkness, alone in the night, the people of God said, send down your light. The stars in the heavens, the moon in the sky, did little to help them. They cried, God on high, send us a symbol, send us a sign. A beacon, a spotlight, let your light shine, but all was darkness. should journey to Bethlehem. And there in a manger, humble and crude, a baby was born, the Savior, it's true.
Savior to Buffalo Town. Move gently, sweet cow, all white and red. You gave him your manger for his bed. Speak softly, kind sheep, with your curly horn. You gave him your wool for his blanket warm. Coo sweetly, white dove, in rafters high. You sang him to sleep with her lullaby. The friendly beast, by some good spell, of in stable dark, we're glad to tell of the gifts they gave Emmanuel when God came from heaven on earth to dwell.
We hope you liked our story of how Jesus came to be, but Jesus is still here, alive in you and me. And until the day he comes again, let's gather hope and pray, and remember that for faithful ones, it's always Christmas Day. and they do a good job. <laughs> at, at, at this time, what we want to do is we want to invite all the kids to come up and join us on the altar, especially those of you guys that are stuck in the back back there. If you have a Blackhawk jersey, you really have to come. Okay, I've got a question for you guys, okay? What, when they did our, our little play there, what did they say that we give, what kids give the best of? What did she say? What did she say? What did the narrator say? Did anybody hear that? We give our hearts, right? Okay, you see that picture up there? Those are two kids that were born, one in July and one in October. Yeah, don't worry, she, sa she sees you right there. Don't worry, you're okay. The you're with the priest, it's not that bad. We got police and everything, it's all right. Um, and last year when they came to Christmas, they said, we're gonna have a baby, okay? And the one on the left is the baby. And it's kind of interesting, this year at Thanksgiving time, the little boy on the left, his name is Austin. And over our day of Thanksgiving, everybody held Austin. And the interesting thing that happened when they held him is whoever held him was instantly excited and full of joy. Okay, it was like when the lights went on in here. Remember when the lights went on in here? Why do you suppose the lights went on? Why did the light go on? Why do you suppose the light went on? Other than somebody flipped the trigger. What do you think? Because Jesus was born. And when Jesus was born, we could see. Now, what's one of the ways do you think that kids can give of their hearts to bring light to the world? What's one way that kids can bring light to the world? What do you think? 
Okay, being good to each other. Let's forget what else? We can pray. Okay, what else? By showing love. Okay, what else? By being respectful. Okay, helping others. You know what I read in the paper today, you guys? There's a girl in Chicago, and she was talking to one of her friends at school. You know what she realized? That her friend did not have a Barbie doll. Okay, how many of you girls have Barbie dolls? Okay, a lot of us have Barbie dolls, okay? And she has Barbie dolls. You know what she did? She's eight years old. How many of us are eight or above here? Okay. She's eight years old. You know what she did? She went and collected Barbie dolls. She collected 500 Barbie dolls in Chicago to give them to people, okay? So see, that's one thing that we can do when we give our hearts, when we see Christ, okay? Now in our world, what happened with Jesus when he was coming and Mary and Joseph, what didn't they have that they were looking for? Why were they wandering around? They were trying to find a place to stay for the night, okay? And they didn't have Hotels.com, okay? <laughs> so one of the things in our world, okay, is there's a lot of people who don't have a home, okay? There's about 160 people in our county that don't have a home, okay? And I want to show you a little video of what one lady did in Detroit in order to help people who don't have a home. So watch over there, watch over there. I really believe that people can tackle far more than they think they can. My name is Veronica Scott, I'm 24 years old, and I'm the CEO and founder of the Empowerment Plan here in Detroit. I think women have a really difficult time understanding how valuable they are. The idea of self-worth is very important to me because I grew up a kid of addicts, and we were kind of set up for failure. We were set up in a hole that we had to climb our way out of. I ended up getting a great scholarship to go to college, and a class ended up changing my entire life. The class assignment was designed something to fill actual needs. I did my research at homeless shelters, so the first project I created was the coat. The coat looks like a regular jacket during the day, but when you open it up, you can actually slide your feet in all the way up to your knees and Velcro it closed again to make a sleeping bag. I was talking to the homeless population in that area and getting feedback and making prototype after prototype. When I was on like prototype number seven, a woman came out of the shelter that I was in and she was yelling at me. She was full on screaming and she said, we don't need coats. Coats are pointless. We need jobs. And really, she was completely right. Because a coat is just a Band-Aid for a systemic issue. And what really would have the impact is hiring the population that would need them in the first place. We hire only individuals from homeless shelters. And then we train them in everything from sewing and manufacturing to employment, as well as tech, and whatever they need to become more independent and to be proud of their accomplishments and be proud of themselves. I'm happy to be working for a cause. It's no greater joy than me coming to work knowing that I can make this coat and, and help somebody that was in my position. So I take great pride in what I do. I really do. You know, actually, I sat at my dinner table with my son last night and I cried because I was like, you know, last year we were just in a shelter and now this year we're in a home. I was the only person that could create this opportunity for myself. And that's all we're trying to do, is give them the power to take control of the life that they want to lead. No matter what you've gone through, you still can do a lot with what you have. So you guys, there's a woman who's 24 years old, two years out of college, and she made a coat that could be a bed. Okay, most of us have beds. These people needed beds. And when she gave the bed to somebody, they said, I need a job. And so she made a company to help them make jobs. Okay, that's what our parents can do. Okay, what we can do is we can share our hearts. We can ask people to share their Barbie dolls. We have kids here who have collected money and given it to people in our parish. We can do those things. And if we do that, we bring light to the world. 
And if we look out here, all we see is light and goodness. So let's stand and we're going to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. As we come together, we have lots of prayers. Let's bring those now to God. For God's holy church, as we proclaim the good news of God's love and salvation to the whole world, we pray Lord, to Lord, hear our prayer. That those entrusted with worldly power know the peace of the Lord and work tirelessly to bring about that peace on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, loved ones, and friends, as the joy of our celebration of the birth of Christ here and at home deepens our bonds of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling, to make the Christmas holidays a joyful occasion for their families, the lonely, the sorrowful, the grieving, and the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world might come to know our merciful God through the way we live during this jubilee year of mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick members and friends, including those in the hospitals and nursing homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, especially our own friends and family of the people gathered here today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Mass is being offered for Stan Lindholm and Michelle Nicholas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these and all the intentions we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, tonight we bring you these prayers. We ask you to hear these. Hear those that are in our hearts, and if they be your will, grant them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks, you guys. You can go back to your spots. Okay, children, whenever you're ready, uh, bring up your Noah's Buddies envelopes and place them in the basket that Father is holding. Today our parish tithe for Christmas will go to the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Thank you for your gift of treasure.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of all things invisible. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. time once again I invite the children if you want to come up and join us on the altar. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks and praise, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David Malloy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand now and join our hands across the aisles as we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Mario.
Tonight our Christmas present is no announcements. <laughs> Not bad for Catholic, huh? Cheap, but it's pretty good. Um, we want to say thanks uh, to our children's choir, to Laura, to Fergal, and to all of our young people. And we want to thank all of you for being with us tonight. If you're back on another weekend or visiting, we're here 5 on Saturday, 8, 10. Father Ruben is awesome at 12 in Spanish if you want to learn Spanish, and then 5 on Sunday night. Have a wonderful, peaceful, beautiful, healthy Christmas. Let's stand now and pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who live and reign forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thanks. And may God continue to bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks be to God. We conclude our prayer in God's peace, singing joy to the world. <laughs>